So I got a great question from a student who asked me, you know, hey, Jesse, if you could go back to your former self when you first got started in this business, you know, almost 10 years ago, what would be the one piece of advice you would give yourself? Uh, and I thought that was a really great question. It's very insightful, and it probably would help many of you um, moving forward as you get into this business. I think the first thing, probably the only thing, I mean, there's so many <laughs> bits of information that obviously I wish I would have known uh, when I got started, but I would say sort of summarizing everything into a bigger picture, it would be dream bigger for what's possible for yourself in this industry. Uh, when I got started, I was not really sure that this could be a full-time income for me because, um, you know, a few people that I had been working with in the business did this full-time, um, but not many people do this full-time, obviously. I mean, how many people do you know that actually do this full-time? You know me, and maybe you know one other person that you've heard of, but not many, and it's, you know, it kind of seems like a pipe dream um, because it's not a reality. Uh, for many of us, we just don't see it around us. And that was really the issue that I faced getting into the business all those years ago, is I had the misconception that I had to be a rock star on, you know, on the radio, signed to a major record deal um, to be making my full time income in this business. And obviously, as I got into this industry, started realizing, wow, there's a lot of us out here that you'll never see our names, you'll never know our faces, but we're doing this every single day, and we're making a living doing it. So one thing that's kind of weird about the human mind that I found is that if we don't have an actual clear vision of reality for ourselves in the future, we typically will not move in that direction. What do I mean by that? If um, you don't think it's possible, meaning you don't know anybody who can actually make it happen for themselves, uh, and you don't know what that lifestyle even looks like, like to the specific T, like what does it look like when you wake up at 8 a.m. and you get an email asking you to compose songs that you're going to get paid for, you know, either up front or through royalties? Like you, you don't even know what that looks like. So if you have no clear vision specifically of what that lifestyle and that whole business would really um, look like, then you're not going to be able to envision it for yourself. And we as human beings need to, we're visual, and we have to see the lifestyle uh, and the goals ahead of us to a T to be able to achieve them, right? Most of us right now can't picture what it's like to be a multi-billionaire. We just don't know what that's like to wake up and have no financial need or fear of not having enough for whatever we need, you know, for whatever bills we have. Not to say that multi-billionaires don't have financial problems. They definitely do because uh, they have a lot to lose, right? So they fear a lot of the loss of that uh, and they have a lot of power that goes along with it. So they're probably always nervous and anxious that they're going to lose power. So they definitely have problems, right? But uh, we can't really visualize that lifestyle at all, flying private jets, you know, having private chefs, you know, that's just like a, diff it's just, you know, we don't really see that for ourselves. Um, and so for the most part, it's not on a path that we're going towards. But if you wanted to be a multi-billionaire, that's how you would do it, is you would start to picture yourself, what would my life look like as a multi-billionaire? What would I be doing, thinking, behaving? You know, how would this actually work out for me uh, when I became that billionaire? So. Um, it's kind of a process of faking it till you make it, right? So if I could go back to my former self and I said, hey, you know, you're know, you gonna get into this TV film licensing thing. First of all, picture big things for yourself. This could be your full-time job if you want it to be, right? I would have done things a lot differently in the beginning knowing that this could be a full-time gig. I thought it was like, you know, side income here and there, pay my groceries, that kind of thing. Had no idea that it was actually gonna be like my job, my full-time thing. Um, but, you know, sort of if, if it were going to be your full time job, how would you be changing your behaviors today? Right. So pretend and I want you to do this right now watching this video. Pretend that you are a full time music producer and you make your full time living through performance royalties that you get in your bank account quarterly from ASCAP or BMI. Um, what does your life look like? I mean, literally, what time do you wake up in the morning? How much music are you composing every single day? Um, do you have um, distractions in your life that are keeping you from, you know, your job now, which is making music? Uh, how serious do you take it? Are, are you backing up all of your sessions? Um, are you listening to reference tracks and really comparing yourself to references to make sure you nail gigs and that kind of thing? Are you, are you taking that extra mile to make sure that you satisfy the client and over deliver to them, right? Those are probably the things you would be doing if you were doing this full time. So, you know, likely you're not there yet and that's okay. Everybody has to start somewhere, but pretend like you're already there, right? Start behaving like you're already there. 
and put yourself in the shoes of a professional. How would a professional be behaving and acting like? And you'll be impressed and surprised by how much quicker you start to achieve your goals when you start behaving and acting like the professional you want to be. So even though you maybe don't feel like a success story yet and you don't feel like you've hit your goals that you want to to be able to do this full time, in your mind, pretend like you're already there. Right, And you'll start to see that your behavior and your uh, motivation and your mindset completely change. Right, And you won't feel like you're an outsider looking into the business going, oh, I just wish I could be a part of that and really do this full time. Put yourself already in there as if you're already on the inside. Oh, yeah, no, I'm already successful. I'm in the process of, uh, process of building even more success. And how would you be behaving and, and acting uh, differently, right? Um, so it's a little bit of information and advice that I would give to myself and I think would absolutely jumpstart and speed up the entire process so that I didn't make the wrong kind of music, send to the wrong kind of companies, not take it seriously enough, kind of sit around and wait for my royalties instead of just constantly cranking out new music. I made a whole bunch of mistakes. You guys are probably aware of them. Um, but it's the one big thing that I would say is visualize big things for yourself. Don't go small, go big, right? Uh, life-changing things, right? Life-changing income, life-changing lifestyle. That's what you should be picturing. And you know, secondly, I guess if I can add on top of that, fake it till you make it. Pretend like you're already there and change your lifestyle accordingly and see where that leads you. Um, I think that you're gonna find out that having that different perspective on this will put you ahead of the competition by leaps and bounds.